I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon. And today, I've got a very nice 1975 Chevrolet G10 short box Chevy van. Uh, you know, back in the 70s, of course, that's when these vans were very popular and they've really seen a resurgence today. And there are a lot of van forums out there and clubs and whatnot that uh, take these vans and do a lot of events with them. They're very cool. You're going to love this thing. This thing is so nice. Now, uh, Pacific Northwest van, it's always lived its life in Salem here. Uh, originally a black van that's since been repainted black, but it's a base coat, clear coat, very nice paint. A lot, a lot of money was spent on this van, you know, it, and it's very cool. But let me show, show you some of its traits. Now, uh, the nomenclature here is it's a Chevy van, which I always kind of like that. It's kind of informal. Uh, this one does have the deluxe uh, side marker lenses and bezels, which is always cool on these. It always just looks a little bit better. But you can see some serious depth here. Again, black, base coat, clear coat, paint shines amazingly. Keep in mind it's black, so you're always going to see everything. And there's nothing, uh, no strange... Uh, you know, images or anything emanating from the paint. And uh, let me apologize, the weather today, it's very cold, it's, it's windy, they're talking about getting some snow here, but I wanted you to see this, I wanted to get the van out here before it started to rain or anything. Uh, wheels, uh, these are 18 inch Riddler chrome wheels and the chrome goes all the way through the wheels, you can see, and we got new uh, 18 inch radials. Now, on the back, they are 20s. Uh, and 20, 20 inch tires and it has just a little bit of a hot rod rake which gives it a very cool look. I'll take you on the interior on this side. Of course all the uh, weather stripping and so forth was replaced when the van was painted and the paint's been on it for quite some time and it really shows very nicely. This is carpeting here which matches the inside of the van, which I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Uh, the upholster made this little cover for us. We didn't ask them to, but they went ahead and made it. We're not trying to hide anything. I mean, the dash is in nice condition, but we wanted to show you that. Dog house was finished off in the black shag. Uh, the seats, got a little stash there. You can put whatever you want in there. Uh, Seats are finished off in this uh, sort of a cloth, almost Alcantara print. I'm going to show you. Let me point out a few things here to you. First of all, uh, the inside floor of the van and even under the carpet has been finished in Rhino line, so it's very clean, very nice. There is no rust whatsoever in this van. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this interior. Uh, the uh, walls and the floor have been heavily insulated. Uh, they have padding and they have high quality. This is a very high quality carpeting here and it's brand new. So, you know, you get back in here, you're not sitting in a van that's had 40, 45 year old carpeting in it. This is brand new in here. It's really got a nice look to it. You can do anything you want with this van. You can make a bed back here if you want, make it a surfer van, little fridge, what have you, uh, which I also mentioned in the text ad, but this was done by a very professional shop here uh, in Salem. They did a very fine job on the upholstery. Very, very pleased with it and uh, you know your uh, shut lines and everything all over the van are very nice as well. You can see how they nicely tucked it in. I mean this is brand new. That paint shines deep. This 
is some of the deluxe trim down here. Still there. All the trim on the right work on the van is nice. This van does have the rear spoiler. And it does have a vent on the inside as well. Person could put side pipes on it. That, uh, that's always cool. It's something that we've always talked about doing to it. But uh, it does have dual exhaust. Has a nice sound to it. We'll hear that here in a little bit. All of the lights on the van work, including the reverse lights. All of the gauges work. This is important to know. All of the accessories, such as the heater, uh, the windshield wipers, uh, the turn signals, uh, all of that, everything on the van works. Everything works. It does not have AC. It never came from the factory with air conditioning. So uh, that can be in installed, you know, if someone wanted to put a vintage air, if you're down in those southern states where it gets nice and warm, you know. But uh, this is a correct, if you're from Oregon, this is a correct vintage license plate for the year. And of course, the 1970 or the 75 decal there. Let me open up the back for you. Like I say, everything on the van is very nicely done. I might take a moment uh, to tell you a little bit about the website, westcoastcollectorcars.com, where I've got pictures of the van, of course, and a text ad that kind of, you know, hits some of the uh, bullet points of the van. But also, this is important, pictures of the undercarriage. This van is very clean, very nice, very dry underneath. Again, I mentioned this earlier, no rust, that's important. No rust bubbles coming from under the paint, under the doors, in the fenders, none of that, you know. Uh, I wouldn't have it if it did, but uh, just so you know that. Very nice, very cool back here. Uh, hard to get a shot of the top. Olga might be able to do that, but uh, we get up a little bit, but uh, the top of the van is painted nicely as well. They did this, uh, there's a couple, there's some snaps here. And the reason they did that, see, a few snaps around, and that's so you can service uh, the tail lights or the reverse lights, should you ever need to. But uh, that was a nice touch that they did. And also, I, I should point out, uh, when we did the floor, uh, we did use uh, plywood here as well. And that is so that, you know, you have the ridges in the van. So you're, if you're crawling around back here, you're not gonna hurt your knees. And of course, again, you know, I did talk about this earlier, but it does have nice underlayment, padding. It's very comfortable back here. wanted to put a mural or something uh, it'd be cool to do but man it's such nice paint I don't know if you'd want to do it or not check in the interior on this side uh, this is uh, they didn't have intermittent wipers apparently on these or too often but this is an intermittent wiper system and yes it does work again you know everything works uh, Got this nice uh, steering wheel with the uh, glitter in it, you know, give it that old school look. This is a 350 engine, four barrel, with a turbo 350 automatic transmission, 10 bolt rear end, R starts, runs, and drives excellently. It's a very nice driving van. Again, heater works, got an aftermarket stereo there. Uh, the windshield wipers work. Up front here, uh, your nice original grill is excellent. 
It's not dinged up or dented, bent or anything. The bumper's nice. Let me pop the... Can't really see much, you know, of course, on a van, but uh, there is a 350 V8 engine in there. The new carburetor runs excellent. Power steering on this van, power front disc brakes. Up under the hood here is nice. This is your option list of what it originally came with from the factory. <laughs> it's cool. But what I'd like to do now is I'll hop in the van, we'll start it, you'll hear it run. I'll just drive it around the parking lot a little bit so you get a sense of what it looks like moving, which is kind of cool because with those wheels it looks pretty cool moving on its own power. But uh, yeah. You just can't go wrong with these. These are more fun than almost any car because you can do anything to it and, you know, there, there's no, there's nothing wrong. You can't do anything wrong with them. They're very cool to own. Just a nice, easy van to drive. Sounds excellent. And uh, I wanted to point out also the uh, steering radius is amazing on this thing. You can drive this just about turning on a dime, which also reminded me now this van has been professionally lowered. Uh, and by professionally uh, in, in quality equipment, I mean uh, uh, you've got lowering springs, new shocks all around, uh, drop spindles. Uh, yeah, it's, so it sits nice, it kind of gives a little bit newer look. Uh, we had it freshly aligned so after the lowering, so yeah, it, I mean, you can drive this thing anywhere you want. If you want to go on a trip, uh, take it with you. And here's another thing, this is something you never really hear in a video, and probably, hopefully, uh, a few years from now, you will never hear it again, but during this COVID situation we have, this is perfect. You can't go in a restaurant and eat, what do you do? You order your stuff, you come in here, you got a nice van, a comfortable little room, anywhere on the road to sit in, it's excellent. But uh, again, everything works. Uh, it's a very quality van. All the work done was very nice. It's just fun to drive, can't say enough about it. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1975 Chevy van, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collective. Five one six seven six three, and thank you for watching today.